Now I have an eyelash just forcing itself into my eye. So the other day, I was scrolling on Tumblr and I ran across this thing that was called a coping box. And I thought, huh, that's a really good idea. So I decided today I would show you how I would put together my coping box. So of course, first I'll need an empty box. This is a box with a thing that you don't need to know about because it's not important. I have put together a list of things that I would put in my coping box and I would like to share them with you. Sometimes life can just get to you. You could have a bad day, you could just be sad for no apparent reason, you could have a falling out with a friend. And this box is just an emergency kit for things that will help make you feel better. The first item on my coping box list is a nice fluffy blanket of happiness. Now I have an eyelash just forcing itself into my eye. I know what eyelash it is because the other day, doing my eyelashes, and I realized there's a freaking eyelash that grew downwards. And I swear it grew that way just so things like this would happen. The next item is of course a handheld gaming thing. I have my Nintendo DSi. It is 100% charged because I don't want it dying on me while I'm trying to cope in a box. Into the coping box you go. Next we have snacks because who can't live without snacks? Snacks are only the best thing that ever happened to humans, ever. And of course you need to bring in your trusty water bottle because water makes everything better. If you have a headache, drink some water. If you're choking on a little bit of food, drink some water after coughing up the food so you don't suffocate. Being the artistic person I am and having all this creative stuff constantly pushing its way through my brain, I need somewhere to vent it all out. So I'm gonna add my sketchbook to my coping box. So many things in the sketchbook, not all of them I'm proud of. I would most definitely add my laptop to this list of things in my coping box, except I'm using it to film right now, so I can't quite add that to the box. And finally, the very most important thing that I need in my coping box is, of course, cats. Right now, I don't have a cat, like a real life cat that I can cuddle and be with, and of course, if I did, I wouldn't force it to stay in a box all the time. So for now, as a placeholder, I will be adding this little thing into my coping box. It's adorable, and it's fluffy, and it works. And here we have my coping box. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it inspired you to create your own coping box, because these are all things that would definitely make me feel better on any given day. If you did in fact enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you do decide to make your own coping box, let me know. Or you can just tell me in the comments what you would put in your coping box. Anyway, I gotta go get some other stuff done, so have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye! Look at my baby tree! It's so cute! It's my baby tree! It even has a star! I love it.